and the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! It's time for weekly purchases, that time of the week where we investigate what came through the door via DHL, Amazon, UPS, United States Postal Service, FedEx, and of course, that old outlaw Waylon Jennings, it is weekly purchases and got, I believe, one round of weekly purchases this week, not the biggest week, and this week I was on the road and I got more of that to come the next couple of weeks, we'll talk about that here in a second, but of course we always start weekly purchases off with a little bit of housekeeping, we're going to start off with the Patreon housekeeping here today. Of course, month of September going on right now. Month of September giveaway. He's cool, he's cocky, he's bad. He's the Honky Tonk Man. Legends Greatest Hit Series 1 Target exclusive. An all-timer of a figure. Definitely worth picking up, of course. Or trying to win another free Patreon giveaway for September. So check out the Patreon, check out all the rules. But we got another giveaway this week. Talked about it last week. Talking about Kyle Peterson 2.0, my second YouTube channel. Uh, we did have a giveaway involved with that. It is Elite Dominic Mysterio. So I'm going to give this away to one winner. I already pulled the winner here. I'm going to butcher your last name, dude. No, apologies right away. Greg Sajaka. Sajaka. C-Z-A-J-K-A. He followed the rules over there on the X, the former Twitter. He is the winner here. So, Greg, I will reach out to you uh, to get this one off to you and off to you uh, in the mail, of course. So, there it is. There's some giveaway action going on. A lot of giveaways on the channel, as you guys do know. Appreciate all the support on Kyle Peterson 2.0. Hit 5,000 subscribers on that channel. A lot of fun videos over there every single day. A lot of you guys and gals are not subscribed. This week, we did do a uh, unboxing, a taste test, whatever you want to call it. We checked out the... Oreo Coke and the Coke Oreos, and my wife Angie joined me for that review, so a little something different. That's the free going over there on uh, Kyle Peterson 2.0. Not as uh, restricted to action figures, I guess, is what it is over there. So we do some of that. Of course, Todd and Mark from the couch living strong over there as well. Check out 2.0. Check out this one. Subscribe to both YouTube channels. You know the drill by now, but we got a lot more housekeeping this week before we get into the old meat and potatoes here. This week, my book, of course, The Complete Guide to the Jax Classic Superstar Series, Hardcover exclusive to Barnes & Noble, soft cover available on Amazon and Barnes & Noble. This week, a little bit unfortunate, Amazon took the soft cover price up to 100 bucks. Oh my gosh, what are we doing? I gotta give a shout out to Amazon though, for at least me, they were selling it under cost. It cost $67 just to make the soft cover book, and then I get like $5 from that, a little less than that, but we'll call it $5. And then they get the rest of the profits from that, and of course they ship it and handle it, do all that kind of stuff over there at Amazon. They finally raised it up to 100 bucks. So not sure anybody's buying soft covers at $100. At that price, I'd rather go an extra $35, head over to Barnes & Noble, get that beautiful hardcover edition. But if the soft cover's not for you, hardcover's not for you, well, you're in luck. The Kindle edition is out as of Friday last week. Head over to Amazon. You can pick up a Kindle edition of the book. If you want it on your tablet, your phone, a nice reference guide, a nice checklist, a nice uh, thing to have on your phone right there, and only $9.99. So there it is. The final push for the book begins. Maybe we turn our attention to another book uh, sooner rather than later. We'll see what ends up happening with that. Stay tuned. Much more on that uh, on the channel as we do come. But appreciate everybody that's bought the book. And appreciate everybody that's going to buy the Kindle version as well uh, to support the book process. So shout out to everybody out there. Some new sponsors this week. Uh, a beautiful one right here. Of course, hits home for me in more ways than one. Jay's CD and Hobby. You've seen me do toy hunts there many a times over the last few few years on the channel. Three locations, uh, and I do a lot of toy hunting there. Pretty much every week I'm in one of their stores. But they do have a website now, Jay's Toys and Games. So they're shipping worldwide over there. No different than a DJC Collectibles Entertainment Earth. You get the point of all that kind of stuff. But they are selling online, and they gave me a coupon code to pass on to everybody here. And it's a doozy here. 15% off with code Kyle at jaystoysandgames.com. Man, oh man, just looking through the site right now, there is a lot of deals that you're going to get cheaper with that coupon code over a lot of the other competitors out there. So check it out. Coupon code 15% off is only for in-stock items, as you can imagine. 
Discount code Kyle once again. Jay's Toys and Games. Check it out. Mythic Legions, Cosmic Legions, Marvel, Hasbro. Uh, everything under the sun, basically, that everybody else has, they have over there. But you can save 15% off when in stock with code Kyle. So shout out to Jay's uh, Toys and Games over there for supporting the channel. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. And then another little bit of one is uh, KWK Collectibles. 10% off with code Kyle. All capitals over there. Of course, they're making those beautiful retro figures. Uh, just unboxed Comic Kid on the channel not too long ago. Check out those. But you can save 10% off with Code Kyle, all capital uh, letters, of course, for that one. Because uh, Law Resistance, three versions of Law Resistance, is up for pre-order right now. So you can save 10% if that is your thing. Got to get a deal out there. We know how that goes. So thanks to KWK. Thanks to Jay's Toys and Games for really stepping up to support the channel. So appreciate everybody out there. More housekeeping this week. I was on the road. I said I had a big grocers convention over there. Got to uh, bring out my finest pants, of course, for that. Some of you guys saw that on my Instagram channel. A lot of fun over there. This week, I'm back on the road again, so it's always fun. It's always a bummer being on the road because you just kind of want to be home. I want to be on my own couch. I want to see my own uh, wife and kids and my dogs and things, but you're on the road. Uh, what are you going to do on the road? Well, you're going to get a nice meal. You got a hotel room, and then you're going to do some action figure hunting or go to a concert. More on that in a bit, uh, but this week, I was on the road, but I got back just in time as I did see some 41 in the interrupters. Brand new music venue, very close to my house. I uh, waited to the last minute to get tickets. I got $100 tickets for $30 a piece. So got to get a deal waiting to the last minute on the tickets there. And I did see some 41 of the Interrupters. Went primarily for the Interrupters. I like the Interrupters enough. I'm not a huge female vocalist fan. Jill Janis, love Huntress, will always be my favorite female vocalist. But I do enjoy the Interrupters because they're part of the Rancid family. Uh, so I do enjoy them. Uh, they're about what I expected live in concert. Didn't blow me away. Didn't underperform or anything like that. But it was a good show. Enjoyed that. And then Sum 41. Of course, I know Sum 41. I know the hits. I know enough to be dangerous, I guess. Just never been a massive Sum 41 fan. Stayed for most of the show. Left basically right before the encore so we could kind of beat traffic. There really wasn't a lot of traffic going on. But quite the venue there, quite the show. Sum 41, it was what it was. That's what I'll say there. I'm not a big Sum 41 guy. So maybe if you're a huge Sum 41 fan, you're going to love it. For me, it was what it was. But it is their final tour until like five years from now. There's no way they're done touring forever. They'll come back in five, ten years, maybe even before that. Everybody comes back. The Who told me, I wasn't alive yet, but they said, Kyle, I heard you're uh, going to be born soon. Uh, we're retiring. And now The Who still performs to this day. So nobody retires. Like a young Terry Funk, that's what it is. Uh, but Sum 41, The Interrupters this week. Next week, back on the road. I uh, don't have any big shows. Old good friend of the channel, David C. Anderson's got a big wrestling show in Colfax, Iowa next week. Uh, if you want to go to hit that one, I will be there supporting that show. Hornswoggle will be there. Brian Myers will be there as well. So a little major pod uh, sit down. Uh, we'll have that going on. So maybe you'll see some of that in my figure hunting. And then after that, Judas Priest around the corner on some of my travels for work. Uh, Iron Maiden around the corner. Clutch. Some of my all-time favorite bands in the next couple of weeks live in concert. So Good time to see some shows, I guess, for me. Maybe you're seeing a show. Let me know what show you're seeing out there on the hunt, out there in the wild, out there in the music venues. You know what I mean right there. So we got the giveaways. We got a little housekeeping done. Now we got to turn our attention to the question of the week. And of course, question of the week now, we got a special male girl involved. A lot of people enjoyed that last week. Well, we're going to do it again this week. Let's get down to it. The question of the week. All right, time for question of the week. And as usual, you want to be the question of the week, put your question in the comments down below. But had a little twist, a little change in programming with the question of the week last week as we now have an official male girl for question of the week. And here she comes. It is my wife, Angie. <laughs> Angie, welcome back to the channel here. I'm back. I appreciate all your help reading because I am halfway illiterate. <laughs> <laughs> as as people like... say, yeah, I don't know. So I need help reading these questions. I don't Angie, know if I'm any better. it's great to have you here to do the question of the week. The male girl, my very own male girl. It's what I've always wanted. So <laughs> going to put her to work in more ways than one a little bit later. So, oh. Angie, take it away with the question of the week. All right. 21 plus video, 0472. What do you use to record your videos? Uh, what do you edit with, and how do you lay out your release schedule? Oh, that's just uh, that's uh, the million dollar question there. And Angie and I have talked about a few of these things over the years. But mm -hmm. what do you use to record your videos? Well, I record with an iPhone. Angie, what iPhone is it? You'd be shocked. It's an eight. It's 
old. An iPhone 8 that used to be your iPhone before mm -hmm. you've upgraded about 10 times since then. Uh, I do need to get a figure out a system here because this yeah. works fine, I think, but I would love to do a more updated system. Uh, I like to be able to have the phone on the, what is it, forward facing? Is that what it's called? Yeah. So I have it on the forward facing. So when I do my videos, I look straight at the camera right there in front of me and I like to be able to see myself as I'm talking because if I can't see myself, I'm always thinking in the back of my head, is it recording? Is it recording? I feel like it's just magically turned off on me. So I have to have that going on and then I want the quality to be as good as possible. Now, I have an iPhone. What is this iPhone? 11. I have an iPhone 11 that absolutely sucks in the camera. This camera is better than this one. I'm not exactly sure. Do you know that? Well, the, the front-facing camera, they don't do a lot of advancements in. It's the rear camera. I see. So. so I don't know how to get around that because I need to see my beautiful face when I'm uh, recording my videos here. But this uh, iPhone here just doesn't work for me. It's my work phone. And, and I thought we had a solve for this because, Angie, remember when you hood, she hoodwinked me? It's a, it's a touchy subject. It's a touchy subject. <laughs> uh, Kyle, let's go up to the uh, cell phone place. We need to get Elle a cell phone. And what was the whole uh, – how did you sell me on this again? I forget how it we went. We were going to let Elle use this, but they were saying it was too old. So oh. then I had to give her mine, and then I got a and, new one, and then he was stuck. And I was left in the lurch. <laughs> Angie got a brand new top-of-the-line iPhone, and then the iPhone model before Elle ended up with, of course, our daughter Elle with her first cell phone. And then I ended up just <laughs> front fronting the bill and paying the bill every single month. So it didn't really work out well for me where I was brought in like, hey, I'm going to get a new phone, and you get my <laughs> old phone, and you'll be able to record. It'll be so great. Oh, I was tricked. I was tricked. That's what happened there. But... This thing. I don't even hardly use my phone. <laughs> oh, and then Elle, like, you know, she's just a kid. She should have a phone like this for her first phone. It's like you don't yeah. buy that kid a Lamborghini when she gets her first car. She gets an old Ford Focus or something like that or whatever it may be. <laughs> I don't know, but I would like to upgrade my setup one of these days, but i got to be able to see myself, and I also do love, I guess, getting into the rest of the question, how do you edit your movies and things. Uh, one thing I do do is I airdrop. I just airdrop it from this phone to my iPad. I edit on my iPad, so that's the other thing. You get one of those fancy cameras or whatever. You can't just airdrop it. you got to mm -hmm. do cards and stuff. I like that I can just boom quick because you guys know. that. You did buy a camera, didn't you? I did buy a camera. I didn't like it. it. I didn't like it because mm -hmm. of the camera. I couldn't see myself. And it was just a whole rigmarole. And I need somebody that comes here. I need to find somebody local and say, okay, let's work on my setup. Let's get this done. Let's get doing with some of this kind of stuff here. Mm -hmm. But I want to be able to eye drop, uh, eye drop it, air, air drop it. <laughs> I want to eye drop it, but I want to be able to air drop it over there to make it as easy as possible. Because I'm doing four videos every single day, so I need to be uh, turning and burning. I can't sit here with rendering and sending things all the time, so got to be able to turn and burn. So mm -hmm. using an old school iPhone, I think an iPhone 2, is that what this was? <laughs> eight. <laughs> eight, an iPhone 8 is what we're using. And then I do edit on my iPad. I like the ease of use of the iPad. Then I can just take it wherever. Instead of a log down with a desktop or a laptop, I just go to the iPad iPad. Mm -hmm. I can sit on the couch. I can sit wherever. I can take it with me. I can edit it. If I'm in the parent pickup line like I was the other day, uh, I can do that in there as well. So there's a, a lot of options there. And then I just use iMovie. Very simple. iMovie, very easy to use. I taught myself uh, just in one day there. Uh, so really no advancements uh, in this setup over here. And I always tell people, I get the question a lot, and uh, I think a lot of creators do. Kyle, what do you use? How do you do your videos? I want to do it. Uh, what do I need to get? And I said, you just got to start. You just got to do it on whatever you have. You just got to get after it. You got to start somewhere. We all start somewhere. Look at my early videos. I look crazy. I had short hair. Uh, who knows? Uh, you just kind of get used to it. You just got to use what you have and uh, we get we get by with what we have right now, but like I said, I would like to update the camera. I want something easy to use because technology's passing me by, Angie. We're I'm old. getting older. I'm old. getting older. Technology's passing me by. At work, I have about five thousand different systems I have to use, and I have to put my energy towards my day jobs. Work. I want this to be as easy as possible. I just want to shoot and go. I almost need a producer. And Angie, you need to study up. We'll give you a week's vacation. You can study it up. I'll just shoot, record, let somebody else take it from there. They can do all the work on the back end. I just Nobody said you had to do five videos a day. That's true. That's it's true. Crazy. That's true. I'm, I'm insane. But that is, uh, and then how do you lay out your release schedule is the other one there. Uh, it's pretty easy for the most part. Like uh, Tuesdays. Kyle Pearson 2.0, we got a turtle video every Tuesday. Tuesday on the regular channel, you got a Jack's Classic every every week. Uh, you got a Friday figure hunt. And then you, of course, got Saturday, Sunday with Toy News weekly purchases. 
Uh, and that's it for the standard stuff. So then everything else kind of falls in between there. So you got three releases on the main channel, one on the other channel every day, and I just rock and roll, strut and stroll is how I do it. But of course, usually uh, more new stuff, you try to get it out as fast as possible because people are looking for that. People want to see that. Where if I'm doing a deep cut, old school DC McFarlane throwback figure, it doesn't really matter when I post it. That's just kind of filler in between new stuff. And that's kind of how I do it. Uh, you know, you want to try to get it up as soon as possible because that's what people want to see. So that's usually how I do that. Once again, Patreon, cheap plug for the Patreon. Everything goes on there early. Everybody gets videos weeks, months, years ahead on the Patreon, and that's kind of how I do it. But I try to get the newest stuff out as soon as I possibly can uh, to everybody out there in YouTube land. So that's kind of it. Is that, does, mm -hmm. Do you think that answered mm -hmm. the question there for 21 plus video 0472? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love the name. Love the name there. Uh, but that's it, Angie. I appreciate you being the mail girl once again. Until next week, you'll be back as another mail. So, of course, <laughs> leave your leave your questions in the comments below. And you, too, can be the question of the week. And if you missed Angie, Kyle Peterson 2.0 this week, we did an Oreo unboxing, taste test, whatever you want to call it. Check that out over there for a little bit Riveting. more of Angie. So Riveting there it is. Stuff. That is the question of the week, Angie. Thank you again. Now let's get down to it. Let's get down to the weekly purchases. All right, time to get down to it. Time to get down to the weekly purchases in a decent week this week. A little of this, a little of that, and a dash of the other as usual. And we're going to start it off with one I already unboxed on the channel. Hopefully you checked it out. It is DC McFarlane Toys Doomsday. And Todd from the couch, you know I've been waiting for this one for a long time. Very happy to have this in my collection. Really feels like the Kenner Superpowers era, of course. Been waiting for this a heck of a long time. Kept getting my orders delayed, delayed, delayed. Well, eventually they do come, and that's uh, what Doomsday did here. I was a little nicer in the review though after I got to play with it a little bit here. I am a little disappointed in this figure. As it looks right here, it looks absolutely amazing, but boy, that articulation is extremely stiff on this one. And I get it, he's not Spider-Man at the end of the day. I get it, Todd, he's not Spider-Man. But his limbs do come off very easy if you're messing around with it. The articulation is a little bit suspect. So it isn't the greatest figure Todd's ever put out. Todd, I don't want to hear it. It's just not. It, it is a, leaves a lot to be desired, but as far as far as Doomsday getting the look down, they definitely got that. But man, the articulation is very rough on this one. So take that for what you will. We unboxed Doomsday on the channel this week. Like I said, check out the review. Uh, how about some wrestling? I did grab another Kurt Angle. I decided I'm going to display him with singlet on and with singlet off. I took the singlet off my last one and I put it on a Kurt Angle basic. Trying to make that basic elite. You know how we do that. So I did do that. Now I'm going to have another Kurt Angle in the collection. So Kurt Angle through the door. A lot of you guys and gals out there finding these at Target right now. $7 for the Hulkster. I couldn't turn down Hogan for $7. Rosie Jamal, I might even pick up another one of those for $7 each. Because I do feel uh, those could jump in value. People like tag teams. Uh, I don't see us getting any more Rosie and Jamal. And I wouldn't be shocked to see 3-Minute Warning in the Hall of Fame one of these days. With all the bloodline, all that kind of stuff, I could see that happening. But we'll see what happens there. But for 7 bucks, Hogan with a guitar, great for customizers, great for a whole lot of stuff. Very excited to get that in for $7. Now we got to turn our attention to a little retro wrestling. Got to give a special shout out to Hassel Toy out there. Grapplers and gimmicks. Stay tuned for the unboxing sooner rather than later. We got the British Bulldog right here. Uh, Attitude Era British Bulldog from uh, the retro line here. Very tough cards on this. Very, very nice. Very premium feeling, I will say. And the ones I've been basically waiting my entire life for. And I'll never say I'm the biggest Fabulous Rougeau's tag team fan of all time. But these guys should have had a Hasbro. They should have had an LJN. They should have had a Classic Superstars. And we should have had a Mattel Elite by now. Never happened. But finally, after all these years, the Fabulous Rougeau brothers have action figures. Pretty darn cool for a kid that's been following wrestling since the early 80s or mid-80s, I guess. Uh, but I just, I'm very happy to have this one in my collection. Would love to see an elite of this, but this will definitely do for now. Looks absolutely amazing. Can't wait to unbox this one on the channel as well. Stay tuned to that, of course, uh, very, very soon. So there you go. We're going to keep going. Is that it for wrestling? Now we got some more wrestling here. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. We'll just go back and forth. We're going to do it kamikaze style here today. How about the Turtles of Grey Skull? Latest wave right here. We got April O'Neil, of course. Looking like a young sorceress. Uh-oh, dropping stuff. We got Stealth Leonardo going on right there. He's just uh, moving through the stealth ways. And we got, of course, Hordak. Not a bad-looking Hordak at all. Looking very nice right there. 
And then, of course, another Stealth one. We got the Stealth He-Man. Oh, Stealth He-Man ready to go. Very, very cool. This line kind of winding down, I do believe. We do know the Thundercats is coming in 2025. I bet you maybe mid-year next year we'll probably start seeing some of that Thundercat stuff. I guess we'll stay tuned, wait and see what happens there. How about a little third-party stuff? I don't do a lot of this, especially with my G.I. Joes, but I was interested enough to be dangerous. Of course, you saw me unbox the Vamp on the channel. Uh, and you saw me unbox the Stinger as well. Well, I went to Gridiron Studios and picked up their wheel kit. Now, these are a little bit more off-road-like wheels, I guess you'd say, bigger wheels uh, for the Vamp. And then you got the spare tire that'll fit on the back. So I did order these from Gridiron Studios. We'll check it out. Got to say, they did mess up my order, but they were very cool. They immediately responded back, sent out the replacement stuff right away. So I was very pleased with the service over there. So I'm going to check these out. We might do a quick video on it just to see how it looks and talk through it. We'll see what happens there. Stay tuned to that. But if you got a Vamp, uh, a Stinger, any of that kind of stuff, Maybe this is something you'd be interested in, or maybe not. Maybe not. You never know. And speaking of G.I. Joe, I did like a sucker. I said, you know what? I saw one of these for sale at, at cost or whatever you want to call it, retail. I said, you know what? I'm going to order it just in case. Of course, this is the rare version. Some are saying eight to a, 800 to 1,000 were produced. I don't think anybody would know for sure. I think that's somebody just guessing out there. But it is the Sergeant Slaughter, which we unboxed on the channel. Check out the video. Uh, without his campaign cover, a.k.a. his hat. So uh, if you have one without the hat, it is a lot more limited. Does limited uh, equal value? I'm not exactly sure on that one. Uh, time will tell, I guess, what we'll say there. So I got that this week. Also got the Rat King Playmates line, of course, coming out with some newer figures. Found this at Target. It is the Rat King. A lot of Rat King stuff on the channel as of late. Uh, maybe Patreon, depending. I can't. I can never remember what's on Patreon, what's on regular YouTube. There's so much content on Patreon all the time. Uh, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I uh, did unbox this already on the channel. It is uh, Professor X, the Warlord version. And I had to call my dad down and say, Dad, not that Warlord. It's not that Warlord. It's a different version. But Walmart exclusive, once again, we unboxed that on the channel this week. Check that out if you missed it. One that came in the mailbox yesterday, I couldn't wait to get this out of the pack, it is the uh, Steel Core Commander uh, versus the Twilight Guard 2-pack Hasbro Pulse exclusive. Definitely not going to be for everybody, but I did pick that up. The review already on the channel. Check it out if you didn't miss that. Then I pulled the trigger, and this is an interesting story. Even Brian Myers, of course, the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. Going to see him next week, so more on that. Uh, but he did make mention, Kyle, why are you buying these on my Whatnot stream? You're a day one pre-order on all these. And I said, yeah, I am a day one. Uh, but I did have Whatnot cash burning a hole in my pocket. I didn't have anything to spend it on. And unfortunately, I don't have a ton of time. I'd love to watch some of these Whatnot streams. There's a lot of deals to be had on Whatnot. Check out my link in the description below. Maybe we should do another Whatnot video. It's been a while since I've done one. But uh, I have a bunch of money in my wallet over there. I said, I got to get rid of this money somehow. What can I do? Pulled the trigger, and I picked up the Big Rubber Guys Hacksaw Jim Duggan and Big Rubber Guys Variant Hacksaw Jim Duggan. So I picked up both these from Brian Myers, and he was a little bit like, I thought you pre-ordered these. Yes, I do. These are on the way. I'm actually going to have this set arrive next week as well. But I got doubles here. Not sure what I'm going to do. I might sell these, or I might use them as a giveaway. I'm not sure, but I need to get that money out of there. I said, I'm never going to watch enough whatnot streams to figure this out. I said, oh, this is up. I'm going to do it. It's all what I have there. Bam, there it is. Picked up these two. So I got doubles. Got to think what I'm going to do with them. Like I said, I might sell them just to get some money back if I can get them just for cost. Or might use them as a giveaway in the future. We'll see. Stay tuned. And that's about it. I think we got two things left. And we're finishing strong with our friend Todd McFarlane on the couch here today. Todd, he's been a little down in the dumps lately. He's just been down in the dumps. I can feel it. I can feel it from the couch here. This might change his uh, mind here. Or it might make him more depressed. Because went to my local Target this week. Picked up Todd McFarlane Spawn. Picked up Todd McFarlane Spawn. I said, you know what? I need extras of this one here. And it was $14.99. $14.99 for this two-pack. Oh, my gosh. What are we doing here? So now I got, uh, I have an unboxed one. We unboxed on the channel. I got the autographed edition. Now I got two more of these. Got to figure out what I'm going to do with it. I think I'm going to unbox this one. I'll sell the Spawn. But I will keep the Todd McFarlane. And I'm going to put this one in shoes. Yes, this one in shoes. The other one will stay barefoot. That's what I'm going to do. And then I'll save this one for a late, rainy day, maybe. Maybe I'll even make a custom out of that Todd McFarlane. Maybe I'll make a Kyle custom so Todd and Kyle can just be off the couch into our hearts, into action figure form. We'll see what happens there. But $14.99 for this two-pack. Too good of a deal to pass up. Jumped on both of these at my local Target store. 
And that's it. That is the weekly purchase this week. It'll be interesting to see what's going on next week. Seeing a lot of new stuff hitting Target stores and Walmart stores. Looking for that leather head, of course. There's a new Turtles 2-pack from NECA, the Sketch Edition. Oh my gosh, what are we doing? We got some new McFarlane stuff hitting Walmart stores right now. Uh, you never know on wrestling stuff. The Monday Night War Series 3. Still looking for the uh, plain uh, regular edition, I guess we'll call it, DDP in uh, the white jeans. The whiter jeans, blue jeans, not the dark blue, the light blue, you know what I mean. So I'm on the hunt for some stuff. So it'll be interesting hunting next week and seeing some stores I usually don't go to a whole lot. So could be an exciting time. Stay tuned for that. Of course, subscribe to this YouTube channel. You know how that goes. But what did you pick up this week? Be interested to know your thoughts. What did you pick up this week? Put it in the comments below. Don't forget, you want to be the question of the week, put your question in the comments down below as well. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and my other YouTube channel. Two channels every single day. Check out the Patreon for exclusive content, bonus content, giveaways. You name it, it's over there. ProSNTs.com. Search Kyle Peterson. My book, now available on Kindle over there on Amazon. And, of course, Barnes & Noble. It is the complete guide to the Jax Class Superstar series. And don't forget social media, SirPaul64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and on Instagram. So for another weekly purchases, you know what I'm doing. I'm rocking and rolling, strutting and strolling, my way into another work week.